Well, folks, there's a cold start out the door this morning. Like we said, the coldest we've been since late March. And this morning, it's still cold outside around the midday hour in the 50s, mostly hovering right around 50. Lake of the Ozarks, a cool day to be out on the water. A lot of these docks are empty. Uh, not much boating activity left. The boating season uh, sharply coming to an end. Some flags, though, whipping in the wind. A little bit of a breeze outside. Not windy, but a little breezy at times today. 52 in Springfield, 52 Lake Ozark, 54 up in Clinton, 50 in Branson, 54 over in Joplin. It's cool out there for sure. 50 Mountain Grove, 53 in Fort Wood, and you're going to be needing that jacket through the daytime today. The sun's out, feels pretty good with the sun helping you warm up a bit, but still a bit of a chill out there. Wind out of the north, northeast, 5, maybe 10 miles an hour, so not too windy. Now we go into Thursday and Friday it will be a little breezier for us, okay? But today, not so the case. So some wind advisories across parts of Kansas and the pinks here, that is going to be for fire weather, red flag warnings across Nebraska and South Dakota and parts of northern Kansas. We'll see a little bit of fire danger increase as we go to Thursday and Friday too, especially across western Missouri. But otherwise, things pretty quiet, not a lot of rain out there, not just here, but also nationwide. So for this evening, if you're going out again, Jacket for the afternoon, temperatures dropping off for tonight, 48 by 9, 46 by 10, and we'll keep on going down back to the middle 30s for an overnight low temperature tonight. It'll be close. I think there'll be areas that do get close to freezing again tonight. So if you have your plants, kept them under cover last night, you might want to bring them in under cover again tonight just to be safe. And then after tonight, things should warm up in the overnights from there on out. So look at future cast, pretty quiet, some rain. And cloud cover off to the west, the far west, over Colorado and Kansas. Here in the Ozarks and eastward, things pretty quiet. Not much cloud cover, if anything, over the next couple days. We're going to see winds creep up a bit. Winds could gust maybe close to 20 miles an hour for Thursday. And then going into Friday, also gusting from the south, maybe 20 to 25 miles per hour at times. Mix that with the dry air and the dry conditions. We get some fire danger here. Elevated in the yellow, highest of the fire threat will be off to the west for a Thursday and into Friday. So for today, low 60s, sunny, a light wind, a chilly day today. Overnight temperatures tonight, not as low as they were last night and this morning, but still close enough to where you, know, you may want to bring your plants inside if you're trying to keep them. Mid 30s to low 30s. I think we'll wake up to some patchy frost on the ground for Thursday morning. Thursday afternoon, warming nicely, upper 60s to near 70. Friday, low 70s, a nice south breeze. 10 to 15 miles per hour for both uh, Thursday and Friday. A good weekend as well. The freeze this morning will really kind of end the growing season, all right? So plants and trees are going to start losing their leaves pretty quickly. That color change, what we see this year, will happen pretty quickly. So this weekend should be some pretty good opportunity for some leaf peeping out there for some fall foliage. A slight chance of rain Monday. Not locked in, but uh, overall a dry and pretty mild October 7-day. All right, thanks, Thomas. Hey, that's perfect leaf peeping weather.